Good evening, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and I'm so glad you could join me. This is a night prayer for Thursday, December the 1st. It's the first week of Advent and the scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verses 47 to 50, and 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 11 to 18. Our help is in the name of God the Most High, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault and thought and word and deed and by what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior, Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Long life to you, most high my rock. Praise to you, God, who saves me. Psalm 18. Long life to you, most high my rock. Praise to you, God, who saves me, the God who gives me redress and subdues peoples under me. You saved me from my furious foes, and you set me above my assailants. You saved me from violent hands, and so I praise you among the nations. I sing a psalm to your name. You have given great victories to your king, and shown your love for your anointed, for David and his line forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Long life to you, most high my rock. Praise to you, God, who saves me. The lesson is from the second letter of Peter, chapter 3, beginning at verse 11. Since all these things are to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you be, lead in, be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved, and the elements will melt with fire? But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth where righteousness is at home. Therefore, beloved, while you are waiting for these things, strive to be found by him at peace, without spot or blemish, and regard the patience of our Lord as salvation. So also our beloved brother Paul wrote to you according to the wisdom given to him. Speaking of this, as he does in all his letters, there are some things in them hard to understand which the ignorant and the unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. You, therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, beware that you are not carried away with the error of the lawless and lose your own stability, but grow in grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be the glory both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Visit this place, O God, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Bless Yahweh my soul, and the almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen.